gonna briefly explain this board without gonna go into too much crazy detail. A lot of it's actually really overly simple. Okay, this right here, this is uh, the trackball. So other than making a big, uh, bigger hole hex saw or circular drill, uh, that was about as complicated as it got. Yeah, all of its cords coming at the back here, one being, the black one being one like this, a USB. Then all these colored ones being the controls for our mouse. All these right here. Which right now, I'm only using the yellow one because that is the, um, this one is in charge of the left click. The black one that goes to the top and then you got the yellow. There's as many black ones as there are of the other colors. So there's a white and a red. The white would be the right click and then the red would be the scroll wheel. This would be the keyboard encoder. So all my triangle buttons and the three in one is like this. Um, so here we go. These two on these sides that literally just controls the LED. Bottom one here would be the where the red would go or blue. While the top would be the black or white. And they gave me a lot of cords, so I didn't really have to uh, go on my way to buy any. So I ended up just doing all the white and blue ones with the uh, the three in one, different sizes, because um, the three in one kind of had a where did I put oh. these pieces were kind of a little bit bigger, so I needed a little bit more space. But can I use this as an example? Okay, these are way too small. Um, so, you would just slide it in. You know. So, it would look something like this. Of course, the cords would actually be much more attached. And then on the other end, they would be uh, conjoined by this and then you would put it in to the corresponding letter. So, I mean, that's that's how the triangle buttons worked. That's how the three and one button worked. Would go into the right and the red would go into the left. This color bit right here this, this specifically was for its RGB. And these are the ones that uh, connect to an app and can um, change based on uh, hearing different sounds or it has different pattern setups and et cetera, et cetera. Since these buttons are so different, they actually came with an encoder specifically for the RGB. That would be this. Okay, so there's these yellow and red ones and there's like these red, these red boxes here. They're kind of like the white ones, but the red ones supply power. Connect it one to what the keyboard encoder is connected to. The keyboard encoder is connected to this, and then this is where the USB port is. And then I had another one connected to a power switch uh, that was already built into this. Um, it's just additive, but there's the power switch. In my case is $60, but you can find one that doesn't have as many uh, holes, maybe nine holes, uh, for $25. So $25 one with nine holes, mine was 18 holes. The encoder itself was $40. The triangle buttons, 
um, were anywhere from ten to twenty dollars for five to ten but uh, buttons. Um, they're old style design, the like four different prongs, two for um, RGB and two for um, function, which of course not all of them have RGB, so it, it would just be two prongs. Uh, but you do get a, a fair share of unique uh, style choices. Like, there's this overly huge design, uh, there's the triangle that you just saw, there's rectangular, etc. The SJ at JX can go anywhere from $24 to $50 for 10 buttons and a joystick. Um, mine was like the $50 one. But if you just wanted the buttons and you didn't want all the fancy things with RGB and whatnot, 24 would be your uh, best bet. They have a more modern design, simpler, much more plug and play. Uh, your best deal is just to get a kit. There's, it's actually a lot easier to find kits for that particular brand. Um, but there's less unique styles. This isn't specifically their brand, but their brand is something like this. Um, if you're getting this, the the cheap ones, because the expensive ones, the expensive ones, the only thing different is there's this nice little uh, white port for the RGB. But uh, they're simpler ones. Otherwise, it's just like this. Um, then you have the three in one arcade button, which was six dollars. Uh, the, that's the Retro Arcade.us brand. No LED, but it's pretty pretty bang for the buck. Old style design, helps save space keeping all the buttons in one vicinity. So yeah, this, um, this was bought kind of on accident. Uh, originally I was having uh, issues with the rotary encoders or the dials. And I didn't think it was going to get fixed, so then I bought this, and as soon as it got fixed, I was like, "Oh, hurry up and you know, press return." And it was apparently too late. Thanks for watching. Till next time. See you on the flip side. Oh, mm -hmm.